What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Guys, I got this killer new dual antenna receiver by Radiolink R7FG. And I tell you guys, I've, I've been eyeballing this receiver for about three months now. And the only reason I hadn't picked one up is because I saw one on banggood.com. It didn't have a case around it and it was only like 16 bucks and I really wanted it but I'm pretty rough with my toys so I wanted a case around it and I held off. Well, I finally got my hands on one to pair it up here with my RC6GS transmitter and I'll tell you, I, I, I'm pretty blown away by what you are capable of doing once you once you get these two paired up. I finally got everything installed in the Traxxas Emacs here and uh, I'll, I'll go over some really cool uh, things that I did on the setup here in just a moment because there's so much that I just didn't know in basics about receivers. Uh, one thing is that you want to keep the receiver and antenna away from any type of motor, ESC, and believe it or not, carbon fiber. And if you are new to this channel, you may not know already, but I happen to really like to install carbon fiber in pretty much everything that I own. So in redesigning the Emacs and everything in it um, to facilitate this receiver, because now this is a dual antenna receiver, uh, capable of some outlandish number like 600 meters i think that's uh like 1900 feet um you you want to make sure it's installed correctly to be able to get all of that distance and we're going to tomorrow attempt to get all of that distance i'm going to take this truck up to work tomorrow and uh i, I have just the place to where i will be really high up elevated and i should be able to send this truck way out i'm gonna put a big old flag on it tonight uh, I think I've got some flags here somewhere, and uh, I'm going to wear something like uh, super, super bright orange or green or something, because we'll install a camera on the inside of the truck so we can turn it around and it'll be able to see us. Um, we're going to get a really good range test out of this tomorrow, but in installing this, uh, it was required to install firmware on the RC6GS here, and uh, I was kind of intimidated in the beginning to plug this thing up to the computer and install a firmware, but I will say this, it was relatively easy, even for me, and I'm not, you know, wicked computer savvy, um, you know, I just plugged this thing up to the computer, I went to the Radiolink website, and uh, the link was right there for the firmware update, it was very easy to do. Uh, I got that installed on here, and what that gave me was a lot of really cool stuff. Now, I've normally big tracks this head, and I've had the telemetry, all the, you know, temperature gauges and RPM from Traxxas. Now, of course, you're not getting, you know, all of that, but you do get some of the, the stuff that's very important, at least it was to me. Um, one of which is knowing how much battery voltage my vehicle has. So that was really cool. It's real time and it's it's very nice to have. I've already kind of tested it out. Getting into the truck itself, uh, I had to pull everything out of the truck uh, and, and basically redo it. The manuals for not only the receiver but the transmitter um, all on radiolink.com. Uh, all easy to find, all PDF, easy to download, and uh, easy to understand. So you're actually powering the receiver. You know, here's the battery. Here's the cool lanyard that I just showed you the picture of. And uh, you're powering the receiver with this little clip right here. And when I first put it in, it kind of fell right back out. And I was thinking, uh-oh. Uh well, then I really pushed it in there. I almost felt like I was breaking it because it really snapped into place. All this felt really good. The case that I waited for is extremely sturdy and thick. Um, very, very happy with the case. So you're getting your voltage out of your battery real time on here. It was really cool because the firmware, you know, I mean, what you're getting out of this transmitter for relatively low price, it's only like 70 bucks. The firmware actually changed the screen and everything. I was, I was really impressed. And then, you know, you, you hook it up, you know, the normal way. Now, I did also hook up an on-off switch, of course. I've got that hooked up to channel 4 here, which is a button. And I got the halos that I picked up from Banggood a while back. And we're going to have those hooked up. I'm going to have them Velcroed to the hood. 
Now, the reason for that is we're going to attempt to send this thing out. I'm going to go to work, uh, and on the way home, I got a perfect spot. So the sun should be a little bit lower in the sky. I'm going to send this thing out as far as I possibly can, 1,900 feet if I can do it. Uh, then we're going to spin this thing around, and the camera will be hooked right here looking out the windshield, of course. Should be able to see me in my little neon shirt. Should be able to zoom in really good and see just how far away it was. Now we had done this before with the Dumbo RCX4 and it came out great. Now I think that was 400 meters ground. One of the other things that I was unaware of for receivers in general that Radiolink pointed out in their manual was that you want to install your receiver not two side sticky tape you know on the uh, hard surface of the truck but almost on like either a foam square which is what I did here maybe on velcro but something that has just a very tiny bit of give because uh, when you're using things like the gyroscope for stability control uh, you, you don't want it to be shaking the receiver around uh, at least that's what Radiolink said so I went ahead and installed it on a foam block uh, and a little bit of uh, velcro so what I'm assuming is that it'll be just enough room uh, but still hold it dead straight on just in case we want to turn the gyroscope on now for this test first uh, it's just gonna be a range test so we're not going to turn the gyroscope on right now for the uh, uh, the stability control um, the next time we run this for the next test, we will turn that on. We're actually going to take this setup out. We're going to put it in the touring car, and we're going to take the very same deal, and we're going to do a drift setting. Um, we're going to put it in the drift car and uh, see what the gyroscope can do. Um, it, I can't imagine that it should be able to be easily driven. Um, I would be very excited to test it out. So, uh, guys, this truck here, we're going to get it out tomorrow. We're going to test it out. Uh, it's going to be a big range test for the uh, R7FG. And don't forget, guys, we also have Gary's truck that we're working on. Uh, we'll have a separate video for this. Uh, as you can see, we've got the decking uh, installed. I've got a bunch of carbon fiber pieces that we've done. We're going to do the lights in the back here. Uh, I had to go through Amazon to get some more lights for this build as, as well as uh, my boss's build, the uh, Red Cat. We're going to throw some lights in that as well. Uh, but I had to reorder lights. I ordered some lights from Banggood and my fault I ordered the wrong one. So, but don't forget guys, we got Gary's build coming up as well. Uh, guys, super, super jacked to get this new receiver. I've never had a dual antenna receiver claiming some outlandish amount of range. We're going to get this thing out on the road tomorrow. We're going to get you guys a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys, and uh, be safe at home. It's uh, it's kind of crazy out there right now. Um, we'll get you guys another really cool video very, very soon. It's Amazing RC. See you guys.